if you want to learn how to cure malaria naturally with an herb, then you are in the right place. Because today I'll be teaching you how to prepare a natural herb to cure malaria. In Nigeria here, malaria is one of the common disease you can find around us. So we have so many herbs that treat malaria. One of them is using awokwa, which is Enanta coloranta. Enanta coloranta is a botanical name for awokwa. If you come to Nigeria, you can ask anybody around in the local market that you want to buy awokwa. Then awokwa will be given to you. You can cook it to, to drink. And if you are cooking awokwa, if you use ordinary water, it's going to be very, very bitter. Honestly, I'm not sure if there's any human that can take awokwa with ordinary water. Do you understand? That is why in today's class, we use using awokwa with seven knob. Seven knob is another type of uh, soft drink. So if you don't have seven knob, you can use sugar and water solution. So uh, let's quickly go into the production itself. Yes, it, it may interest you to know that this particular uh, herbs, natural herbs I have in my house myself, and I've been using it for over four months now, and it's been working tremendously. If you take a look at this, you see, this, this solution you are having here is the seven of itself, and that's because this particular uh, solution has stayed more than two months in my house. So, and whenever I finish the content, I just pour in another seven up. Then I will leave it for two to three, four days to ferment so that I can get another better content, another better solution out of it. So it's something I use myself and it's working. So you can give it a try. And how do you go about this production? You need an empty bottle. This is a one and a half liter uh, bottle. You can get anything, any container that is of this size. This is uh, a one and a half plastic size. Then you need the our pie itself. That is the uh, Enanta Coloranta itself. This particular quantity is around 200 naira. That's less than a dollar in Nigeria. So this is all you need. And uh, after this, you need like four bottles of 7-Up. Do you see that? You need like four bottles of 7-Up to, to do this production. Then the first step is, you, the Aokwa is usually in, in flat, bigger size. Do you see? I was the one that cut this into pieces. I actually bought uh, uh, more of this and I used it to produce this. Then I have this left over. So this is what I'll be using for today's production. Just cut it into pieces so that it can fit into this, into this bottle. Do you see something like this? Then you are going to throw all this into the bottle. That's the first thing you do. You see that? Just make sure you throw all into the, into the bottle. Then you may ask, how do I know the quantity of the Awapa, the Enanta Coloranta that will be in this bottle? Whatever Awapa you are going to use should be half of the bottle or quarter the bottle. What I'm saying is that you shouldn't fill this bottle to this particular point with Awapa. It will be too much. Do you understand? And it might be too conk for you to take. So just fill this bottle to this level or this level with the Enanta Coloranta and you, are, and you are fine. So you put this in it. Now you see, you can cut all this into smaller, smaller pieces so that it can go in into, into the container. Then you have this, you have this. Okay, once you have put all the 
our power inside the bottle. Then the next thing is to fill it up with the seven up. The seven up is is sweet thing, so it makes it a bit soft soon and it's it's easy to drink. I have already opened all these seven up, so don't think when you buy yours it will be that easy to to open. Then you put it inside carefully. Now, once you have done that, you, you leave the bubbles to settle down, then you open the next one, fill it with Now, the 7-Up you are going to use should be ordinary 7-Up. I mean, not the one that you take from your fridge or freezer. It must be at room temperature. Do you understand? So don't take a cold drink, not a cold 7-Up. It should be at, if you have a cold 7-Up, then you have to leave it for some time to lose the highs and be at room temperature. So. Then you open the third one. Now, if you notice, the seven up itself is colorless. But the moment it go into the hour part in the bottle, it starts to change color. It becomes a bit brownish. If you leave this solution for two to three, four days, it will be as deep as this. Do you see that? So, uh, this is the last bottle. Just fill it up to cover all the hour part in the bottle. Very, very important. Make sure it covers all. Do you see it? All right. Once you have done this, then you cover it up. You don't need to put this in the fridge or freezer. Just cover it up and put it anywhere. Just leave it anywhere in your house and visit it after four days. Now, you will notice that because of the soft drink you have in it, the moment you cover it, this container becomes very, very strong, very, very hard to suppress and that's because of the content the seven up in it so if you are going to open it in the third fourth day you have to be careful because if you don't the content will escape out of the container so you have to open it gradually you see because it's going to be gaseous at the same time you see that so but for us to start using it we have to cover it and leave it cover it tightly and leave it for three to four days so that we'll give it enough time to ferment. You can use it the next day, it's fine. You can use it the third day, it's fine. But you can't use it immediately because it needs some time to, to ferment. If you try this solution, you'll really be grateful. You don't have to be sick before you do this. I was not sick when I did this. I just did it as just uh, a precaution so i use it once a week i don't have to be sick i don't have to be tired at most twice a week and i leave it for the next week so and it's been it's been saving me a lot i don't break down i don't visit hospitals and i don't use any chemical substance i wish you good health and long life if you love this video please subscribe and let me know your reaction in the comment below if you have any question, drop it in the comment below and I'll do my best to respond as soon as possible. If you want me to bring you any video on herbs and natural uh, herbs uses, just drop it in the comment below. I'll read through and provide you valuable content. Please do not, for, do not forget to subscribe and hit the, not the bell notification button so that you get useful videos like this whenever I upload them. Thank you so much. Peace out.